So let's look at using this virtual production shared project to do some level building. It can be quite daunting creating your own uh, virtual production studio kind of environment from scratch. So that's why we've given a load of uh, meshes and resources and things to make this process a bit more easy, quick, experimental and fun. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully this can just get you going a little bit quicker. So what you'll see when you first jump in this level is you've got this kind of Tony Hawk's blank map. First off, I'm actually just going to get a bit more light in this area just by adding in a cube, pull that in and we can check out some of the first environment stuff if you go content environment uh, we can look at materials we've got some emissives and these are just useful materials uh, if you double click it you can see that it's a this is a material instance so it's already got some parameters here that we can use um, but what I'm gonna do just to keep things really really tidy and I would recommend doing this is uh, you can create your own folder so we actually have in here we have a my folder folder uh, you can create something like my folder and this will just keep all of your assets that you're creating for your own level in their own place so that when you make any changes to like materials or things like that it's not going to change anything in the rest of the project so we can keep this really nice and tidy so we've got our folder go back to environment materials emissives and you can right click here and go create material instance and we're going to call this material instance underscore emissive one and I'm going to drag this over to your my folder and we got material emissive one now we can drag this onto the cube we can double click it and we can make changes now uh, and they won't change anything else in the rest of the project so it's really nice and clean and tidy whenever you've got uh, materials or meshes or things like that that you want to make changes to it's always recommended to add it into a new folder it's just kind of good project structure you can see I've got some other materials and stuff here. This is from past level building stuff uh, where I've just been refilming this tutorial, but you'll have a blank folder here. So, you know, we can uh, use use this kind of material method. Uh, this emissive material is quite fun to explore. You can kind of uh, set two colors here. Uh, if you up the speed a little bit, I'm going to keep it quite a low speed because I want a kind of ambient change from color to color. You take these two colors, you know, you can see as we change the speed, we can see it kind of changes. You can get a nice, a nice speed here. I think this 0 0.1 was quite cool, uh, but I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep one color for now. Uh, so you set that speed to zero and um, yeah, just put yourself a nice color. Let's do like a kind of blue and bring that strength down a little. Yeah, keep that around there. Um, so now I'm just going to press spacebar till I get this kind of scale option. Scale this out and this can become a kind of light for my level. So this, this generally gives a nice ambience if you can kind of inset these emissives uh, into the, but this is just one, one technique that you could do. It's up to you how you build your level. And then I'm just selecting both and alt dragging. Uh, we can move all of these meshes as one. So it might also be good to start organizing this right off the bat. So I'm gonna select all of these, go back to the outliner and add them all to a folder by clicking up here and then F2 f2 on this folder and i call this emissives so that's kind of the first material thing we can do i'm going to make even more i'll drag these out here and you know for now do it again with these so you know we just got we just got quite a cool ambience already you'll notice there's this uh square here and this indicates where the desk is going to be when you then pull this level into the main kind of functionality so we're going to keep this desk in the same place but we're just going to build around it another material i'm going to check out okay environment materials uh we can go real world and we got these kind of triplanar projection materials if we double click they kind of project perfectly in 3d space wherever they're going and you can copy this circle out again if i want to make changes to this material i'd recommend going create right click create material instance go okay, material instance white floor two uh, then i'm going to drag this into my folder and now we can use this in our level make sure we close that previous material and just double click the new material you know you can add it on here and you know add it onto any other meshes so for this material you might notice like the color doesn't really change how you want it to uh what you want to do is change this color visibility to one and then this texture invert to zero and then we'll start seeing the colors that we want to see so you know then you can really dial that in and change that but i'm going to keep this as a kind of gray and i do want this texture invert because that is just uh, making all this text black you can change your textures that you use here you can change this for your own logo texture um, up to you how you uh, explore these materials uh, but you know maybe for this example I'll turn off the texture make this bump grid smaller you know up to you what you do with these materials now you might find that uh, the the lighting in your level is a little low uh, that's because if you go to this post process volume you can just search this in the out outliner you can just search post process volume uh, we've got this 
auto exposure set to minus three at the moment you can set that to zero and you can get a bit more light in your scene now we can kind of turn this emissive strength down a little bit gonna make it a bit bluey it's quite cool and yeah now we've got more control over our light uh the next thing i'll show you is uh you just got as well as materials we've got uh meshes so you can check out this you can explore this Got loads of cool options for meshes. Uh, so first off, we've got this modular pack, which is literally just kind of simple meshes that sort of slot together quite nicely. So you can pull this in and you can check that your grid snap could be set to like 50. Uh, you can pull this in, like scale it up a bit. And it really is just a flat mesh that if you press Alt and drag, it just snaps to the next um, point. So with this, you can really quickly build out kind of stage areas and you know that it's all snapping nice and neat together. As you can see, our triplanar material is doing its work here as well. So if you scale this up, the material is going to stay, all the UVs are going to stay nice. So you can really get quite nice and experimental with this quite quickly. You know, scale up some edges. You can press Alt and middle click and click on this edge and then scale this here. And you can just kind of make an extrusion like that, which is quite nice. And then once you're once you're happy with this and you've got a few assets in, a few bits and bobs in, remember to press Control Shift S to save all. And you know you can control drag all of this. And you know, quite quickly you can have a studio that you can be quite happy with. We've also got a load of load more cool stuff to explore. Um, maybe if you go to this NP meshes, go to speakers, you can drag this in, maybe pull it around this way, change this movement to global. And then I can alt drag this and I know it's going to just move along this axis and you know we can quite quickly get something that looks really awesome. In this virtual studio pack 2 we've got more meshes that haven't yet got materials on but they're just some more quite decent meshes. I'm just going to bring this grid snap down a little bit, pull this to the edge uh, and we do need to add materials to this one so we go into my, my folder, see if I've got some materials for this. I'm just going to do the same white and then maybe the same emissive for these poles. Yep, something like that, looking quite cool. I'm also just going to go outline our place actors and drag in a sphere. Just for another point of interest, uh, we can go environment, materials, animated. And we've got a load of cool animated materials here. So, you know, you can add something quite cool. Again, you can go material instance and drag that to your folder. Now if we double click this, there's a load of parameters to play with here. So your studio doesn't have to be this size, you can delete all of these outer edges and you know work in whatever size you want, but I'm going to stick to this these bounds because it's just quite a nice size. Uh, and then also we've got this decal at the back. So if we find this, if we find this material by clicking here, we can totally do a material instance with this as well. Uh, material decal, my decal, uh, and we can make pop that. Press this arrow to make sure that my decal is selected. Move this to my folder. And now you can load in, you know, your own custom image here. So, you know, that can be whatever you want. I've got an invert option. And yeah, it's just got a couple parameters that you can play with there. But yeah, I'm going to keep this like this. And just like anything else, you can always just duplicate those out and really get some branding going in your own studio. And yeah, that's sort of the main main building blocks of making an awesome studio. We've also got another folder here, Virtual Studio Kit, which has got more meshes, more meshes, more cool things. I really like this light. Uh, I think it just adds a really nice space-like element to your scene. But yeah, up to you what you want to add to your level. So feel free to explore all of those environment folders with the materials and stuff like that. Now we've got a pretty cool studio here. And the cool thing about this is that uh, if we get back here, we can see that we've got the now find the persistent level here uh, in content level prototyping our comp starter so let's do that we can go file open level uh, we're in level prototyping our comp starter if we open that our level that we've created is now part of our composure functionality so you can see we've got a few other elements here and if we press play our custom level is now part of the overall scene right off the bat so we can do camera changes and awesome functionality with our custom level right there. So we've sorted our environment and we're now in the Alcomp starter level. This Alcomp starter level has all of our all of our awesome functionality, all of our compositing, 
of our real life media into our into our scene. Next thing you might want to do is get your own media into here. You might want to change this desk and things like that. And we might want to work on some more level functionality stuff. So let's go through that in the next few videos. Cheers.